Stern NASCAR White Star Modified MPU board. And the board presented by displaying only the splash screen on the DMD, which means that the board wasn't communicating with the DMD controller board. Now, I figured the problem on this one, listen to me using big words like figured, was this HCT273, and it often is. But I tested it, and it was just fine. So I removed the RAM and U213, and you can see from the pictures that I rolled in at the start of the video that there was corrosion there, and also on a couple of the pins of CN1 here. So I will send the client a new ribbon to make sure that no corrosion exists on his ribbon and then transfers back to the pin. So we have it up now on my test rig. Lamp matrix is doing what it does. So let's put it into test. And touch switches first. And I have my Pinitech tester. Switch hands for that. Switch three on White Star Games is never reported. So let me do another one in row three. Okay. Here's row one. Yeah. So everything in the switch matrix is doing what it should. And you can see that the GI is turned on. It's my simple little Star Trek-like GI uh, display. Let's check the coils. I'm going to cycle through each of them. Seven. 10 is blue and uh, 12 is green because I use this for System 11 and Data East games too. And that's the AC Select Relay. You can see those two coils kind of pulse. Those are the flipper coils. So the game uses pulse width modulation to turn those flipper coils on and hold them on. You can see there were a couple out of order. That's unusual for White Star, but that is normal for NASCAR. So all those coils are working. And let's check the lamps again. We can check them all. And that is working properly. Flashers is nothing more than driving some of the coil circuits again. And that's working. Hideous knocker. Not much, not very exciting test here for these, is it? Okay. And that's it. So this board set is, or this MPU board is good to go. So it'll search for balls and then it'll reboot. So I'm going to skip that part. I thank you so much for sending it, sir.